Hey there, Cal. Uh, three folks, I'm back here with a another quick little lecture where I wanted to show you a little application of uh, double integrals. And that application, we're going to be looking at what we call the average value of a multivariable function. All right. And this does, um, this is what we call a, what maybe a, a, an analogous uh, technique to what we saw back in calculus, right? Where back in calculus, we did see a method for calculating the average value of a continuous function, right, over values of x in some closed interval from a to b. And that average value calculation was given by the integral from a to b, right? It was given by the integral from a to b multiplied by this factor 1 over b minus a, right? Where if we spend a little moment thinking about, again, b minus a, b minus a is the length of this interval, right? If we take the integral of a function across the bounds from a to b and divide it by the length of the interval from a to b, recall what that gave us was the average value of our function. Now this was what we saw back in Calc 1. We have an analogous idea here in Calc 3, all right? Now consider finding, in Calc 3, the average value of this multivariable function over a region R, where region R is this region of space now that's trapped in two dimensions, right? And again, folks, this region here, I'm very generic. It can be either a, a, a rectangular region, as we saw in 16.1, or this could be for the case of a more generic region uh, that we saw presented in, uh, begin developing in 16.2, or even what we're going to see develop in 16.3, uh, which might be polar regions, folks, right? Uh, this could be for any region of R. Consider finding this average value of our function, right? Well, we do have a definition that gives us this result, and it's going to look a little analogous to what we saw back in Calc 1, right? The average value of our function, which is this continuous function over this region R, right, this two-dimensional region of space, right, in the xy plane, is actually going to be given by this calculation here, right? The average value of f is going to be the double integral of f over R multiplied again by this factor. Where what is this factor? It's 1 over what we think of as being the area of region R. Right? If we take a double integral over region R and we divide it by the area of region R, that will give us the average value of a function, f, a multivariable function f in three-dimensional space. And we might even go back and, and take note here that this is in right, three-dimensional space. Right? where we're considering a continuous function over this two-dimensional region, all right? So if we think a little bit about R to begin with, if R, right, is defined as some rectangular region, right, the area of R would just simply be given by this calculation here. It would be the, in a sense, we might think of as the length of this rectangular region, times its width. It is going to be the quantity b minus a times the quantity d minus c. All right? That would give us the area of r. So if we think about the average value, right, the average value then of our function f would be 1 over that area of that rectangular region times the double integral of function f with respect to r. All right? where we had note with Fubini's theorem that this integration could actually happen in any order across these two sets, well, across these bounds for x and for y, right? If we were to look at a quick example, again, just a little initial application of this idea for multiple integration, double integrals, is we might consider the average value of function f here this multivariable function 2 plus x times y over this region of R, where R here is this rectangular region. All right. 
In this case, we might first note that the area of R can be found with a rather fundamental calculation, right? It's going to be 5 minus 0 times 3 minus 2, which we would see is going to be 5 times 1 in value, right? In a sense, our area of region R is going to be 5 units squared, and it is going to be multiplied by... Uh, we're going to take that 5 units squared, put it under 1, and multiply it by this double integral. Right? This double integral over this rectangular region R. Right? That's going to first happen with respect to x from 0 to 5, and then is going to be integrated with respect to y right? between the values of 2 and 3. Once this double integral is calculated, we then just divide it by 5, or multiply it by 1 fifth, and we will have the average value of our multivariable function here. All right? This multivariable function given in our problem over this region of R. Now, if we simplify 1 over 5 times 1, that is 1 fifth. And if we consider integrating our integrand first with respect to x, the 2 will get treated as a, a, a constant, so that will become 2x. Whereas x times y is the constant y times a value of x, so that becomes 1 half x squared times y. Now if I evaluate these across the bounds from 0 to 5, certainly note at 0 everything becomes 0, but at 5 we do yield 10 plus 25 halves times y, right? which we now are going to evaluate with respect to y across these bounds from 2 to 3. If we look at that result, from the, first of all, the antiderivative of 10 plus 25 halves y is, again, 10y plus 25 fourths y squared times y squared, where if we now evaluate that across the bounds from 2 to 3, at 3 minus the value of this at 2, does yield 165 fourths. Where, if we multiply that by a fifth, the 5 cancels with the 165, leaving you with 33 over 4 units is the average value of this function. All right? Again, the value of this function is just a one-dimensional value, folks. Uh, f is going to have just one value as its output, that being the value of z, right? Found along the vertical axis, or the, the z axis we might think in three dimensional space. So when it does come time for labeling, you are not necessarily here calculating a net volume calculation that would require a units cubed in the description, nor are you calculating an area calculation that would require a unit squared. You are calculating the average value for a one-dimensional value, that being the output of this function. And the average output of this function, right, at all the inputs, right, that occur over this rectangular region R, right, is 33 fourths, right? If we average all those infinite outputs that happen over that rectangular region, we would see that they would average to about 33 fourths. Or if we think about that, in, uh, that is what? Uh, equal to 8 and 1 fourth units squared in value. All right, folks. So that is just a quick little video on some application of double integrals where you can actually use it to find the average value of this multivariable function. It does extend from ideas that we saw in Calculus 1, Right? But we're now developing it here uh, in the, the what multivariable context. Notice, though, in this case, I did work an example for a rectangular region, but this idea also extends uh, into really just any general description of region R. As long as you can find the area and the double integral of R, you can calculate uh, the double integral of F over R, you can calculate the average value of that function over all right, folks, that is uh, this video. It was a quick one. I'll be back uh, with another video here shortly, I hope. So I'll see you all then.